Hi, Year 9. A few people are getting stuck on the My Maths homework on the trigonometry finding sides, especially the second question. If you haven't done it yet, it's due in today, so this is a bit of a bonus. Okay, the numbers I'm going to put on the screen will be different to the numbers you saw on My Maths, because My Maths changes the numbers every time you do it, so you can repeat homeworks and repeat the same question. Uh, but the principles for solving it will just be the same. Just getting my calculator. Right, so first question. You get a triangle that looks something like this, with a dotted line down the middle, it's isosceles, and that size 10 centimetres, and they've given me an angle of 68 degrees, I think last time I did it, it was 70, so it'll be somewhere in that ballpark. And we have to work out x. What I did is took half of that triangle to make a right angle triangle, that's 10, that's going to be x over 2, I just called it y. And um, that's 68. So I've got adjacent and hypotenuse. So I want cos 68 equals y over 10. So y equals 10 times cos 68. And then x is double y. So x will be 20 cos 68. And I type that into my calculator. It's sort of irrelevant because you'll have different numbers. I get 7.4. Nine centimetres. Okay, moving on. Second question confused me for a while, but only because I think I was being silly with it. We get a rectangle with the two diagonals, and in this case, this angle is 50, and that's 18 centimetres, which was nice, it was an odd number before. And we have to work out the length of the rectangle x. Okay. x is double that distance. I'm going to call that y again. Okay. And if I look at just this triangle, okay, drawing it out here, that distance is half of 18, so that's 9. Right angle there, and that angle is half of 50, so that's 25. Okay. I need the height, y, so I'm dealing with tan because I've got opposite and adjacent. So it's tan of 25 equals 9 over y. So y equals 9 over tan 25. x will equal double that, because x is double y. So that'll come out at 18 over tan 25. 18 divided by tan 25. Thirty-eight point six centimeters. Okay, and finally, this one stumped a few people. Okay. get told that the line AD bisects the angle CAB. So it bisects this angle, it means it chops it in half, which means this angle here must be half of the whole angle, and this angle here is half of the whole angle, so that must be 16 degrees as well, and the whole angle must be 32. So I'll just draw the little triangle now. I've got 16, 23, and I'm going to call that length Y. Okay. Unfortunately, it's not the case that if that angle gets bisected, this line gets bisected. Okay, unless it's an isosceles triangle and we're drawing down between the two base angles. That's a different thing. Okay, so we're dealing with tan. So we get tan 16 equals y over 23. So y equals 23 tan 16. Okay. I can't be bothered to work that out because I'm just going to take it away from something in a minute. So I'm going to leave it like that. If I draw the big triangle, this side now is x plus y. Because this was x that we needed to find. So x plus y is the whole thing. That's 32. That's still 23. So we get x plus y is equal to... I'll start at the beginning. Tan 32 
equals x plus y the opposite over 23 the adjacent so x plus y equals 23 tan 32 so we want to work out x by itself i need to do x plus y and take away y so we get x equals 23 tan 32 take away 23 tan 16 which is Seven point seven eight centimeters. I hope that made sense, and hopefully, I'll see you soon. Bye.